What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make homemade pizza. We actually love making these more than even ordering out. So this here, you can, since it's pizza, you can put pretty much anything on it. But what we like to use is pitas. We buy this in bulk from Costco, which is really cheap. So our crust is pitas. You can use tortillas, you can use homemade crusts. You can buy the big pizzas if you want, the big pizza kits. But this is what we like to use. So we take three of them, put it on the largest baking sheet that will fit in our oven, and we put parchment paper underneath. You're also gonna need pepperoni or any toppings that you want. So we go with pepperoni here. This pack here, uh, you get two packs at Walmart for $10. So this one pack will probably last us for two pizza nights. So about six of these pizzas. You're gonna need a whole brick of mozzarella cheese shredded up and of course your favorite pizza sauce so this is what we're going to go with here now since it is pizza you can put pretty much any toppings you want on it if you have leftover grilled chicken if you have leftover ground beef cooked up if you have any assortment of vegetables you want you can put them on your pizza you can make it however you want but today we're going to go with the classic pepperoni pizza so once you have the crust laid out on your tray, the next step is to take your pizza sauce and put it on the crust. So I just put it on here. I put a large amount and then we're just going to go and spread it around. And if any need extra, we will go and put a little bit more on the ones that need it. But I do like to put a thick amount of sauce on our pizzas. Once you have your pizza sauce on, the next step is to take your cheese and coat the pizzas with the shredded mozzarella cheese. You can use other cheese as well, but mozzarella shreds the best and it's gonna melt the best onto your pizzas. So you're gonna go ahead and put all of your cheese on your pizzas. Once you have your cheese on your pizzas, the next step is to put the remainder of your toppings. So if you have veggies or other meats, you can go ahead and put that on next. We like to put our pepperoni on next, put it on top. It makes the pepperoni nice and crisp. Now, once you have your pepperonis on your pizza or all of the toppings that you are putting on your pizza, then the last step is to finally cook your masterpiece. You're going to put it in the preheated oven that's set to 400 degrees and you're going to cook it for 10 minutes until the cheese is nice and crispy and the bacon is fully crispy as well. 